now we are in the live we can start yes good morning everyone good morning dr anthony nice to see you again and good morning to all our viewers who have viewed this webinar today and good morning to dr raman it's nice to meet you so today the topic is entrepreneurship overview which Dr. Raman is going to introduce to us and explain to us what is what it is all about. But before we can proceed, Mr. Anton is going to introduce the professor and tell us just a bit about him. Over to you, Mr. Anthony. Thank you, gentle lady. Good morning to all the participants. Good morning to St. John the Baptist University, Malawi. Good morning to St. Eugene University, Zambia. As we are all awaited, uh, the long-awaiting uh, personality today with us, actually. Actually, uh, we designed this webinar uh, purely based on Dr. Raman Gujral, sir, only, actually. For taking his appointment, uh, I was uh, uh, more than, uh, 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 it's, it's numberless. Several times I contacted uh, people here and there uh, uh, to take the appointment of our uh, beloved and respected uh, uh, professor dr raman gujral sir so he is a very 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 important personality of our country actually he is a very important personality of india uh, in the basis of uh, 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 developing lot of lot of lot of projects across the nation not only across the nation but uh, uh, in the international level also uh, he's uh, spreading his wings, uh, uh, such a wonderful personality. Today, we are uh, having, before going into the session, I would like to uh, uh, share some information about our uh, today's personality. Uh, one second. Yes. About our uh, respected Dr. Raman Gujral, sir. He is the professor and the director, Department of Projects for EDII, one of the reputed enterprises of Government of India, and Institute, Institute of India, Entrepreneur Development Institute of India. And his academic qualification is a PhD in Commerce, actually. His area of specialization is business opportunity identification and guidance. As I told you, plenty of business uh, 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 upcoming businesses he is focusing on and he was handling a lot of projects actually uh, the projects the major projects he handled was science and technology entrepreneurship development uh, sted project it's uh, related with the government of india micro entrepreneurship development program again a uh, government of uh, india related uh, project skill development training through science and technology stst project again related with the government of india Science Tech Entrepreneur Monthly, DST, again a Government of India uh, related product. Uh, Skillpreneur Development Project for uh, HP India, Hewlett Packard India. And he is a keynote speaker to the international conferences also. And he's, uh, 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 he's, uh, he did some international conference related with the skill development for poverty elevation, building skills for employability. It was held in Manila and uh, Philippines. And he is a keynote speaker to Indian Technology Congress too. A lot of things we can uh, speak about this uh, uh, gentle personality. So it's my uh, pleasure to welcome uh, Dr. Raman Gujral uh, for this uh, uh, wonderful webinar. Sir, uh, we welcoming you wholeheartedly. And uh, we are all eagerly waiting to know uh, more and more valuable things uh, uh, which you are going to uh, share with us actually and we are eagerly expecting how uh, EDII is going to helpful to us for making our dreams come true with this uh, small introduction I am handing over uh, to beloved respected professor Dr. Raman Gujral sir the session is yours sir thank you Thank you very much, Dr. Anthony, for nice words. Uh, and uh, really, I am delighted. I am very happy that uh, I am addressing to the most promising students, those who are passing out now. And 
they have aspirations and the way um, you are contributing uh, from India to the students and the fraternity, that is really a remarkable job you are doing it. The <clears throat> team who is uh, coordinating the webinar with the students is also, uh, I give a big thanks to them because uh, how they are managing uh, the students and for, for of this particular university and along with that other students are also participating. I have been informed that. So really it's my pleasure to talk to you uh, on entrepreneurship and innovation. Both the things are uh, together uh, required for uh, success in, in your life. So I, I don't say too much that only if you want to start a business, then only you will be a successful person. But even if you start behaving like an entrepreneur, then also success will come to you. So uh, my uh, take uh, after experience uh, over three decades in the field of entrepreneurship or uh, those who, are, who behave like entrepreneur, I've seen that the, the boys and girls who, who tend to behave, their attitude is more entrepreneurial. They get more success in their life. And the boys and girls who, who behaves like uh, waiting for orders, waiting for approvals, waiting for some kind of uh, request, from the superiors or from the community or from any part of their geography or their country, if they are keep on waiting for such kind of instructions, then I say that they are not entrepreneurial. But those who take initiative or those who take first step out uh, to do something which is for a better cause, which is for profit or which is for their own uh, success or their own happiness, there also I can say these boys and girls are more entrepreneurial. So don't worry that uh, if you are not starting any enterprise then or any business or any SME, in that case uh, your entrepreneurial quotient or your entrepreneurial requirement is not there or it is not required. It is always very much required. And that is the reason I'm telling again that you have to inculcate entrepreneurial mindset. Then only you are going to be a successful person in life. And successful person doesn't mean only a successful businesswoman or a successful businessman. You can be a successful professor, you can be a successful banker or you can be a successful guitarist, vocalist. You can do anything where you want to do, what kind of profession you are choosing. If you want success, then the entrepreneurial mindset is required. So um, I, I, I really uh, want to thank the way you people are participating and you want to learn more about how you can become entrepreneurial by mindset. So I'll share some uh, examples, I'll share some uh, quotes and I'll share some text also to explain you how can I say that you are entrepreneurial if you are doing one, two, three, four, five things then I think I can say that you are behaving like an entrepreneur. And uh, if you want to start your business, there also these uh, things are required. But if you want to work somewhere, there also similar things are required. The difference is at one place, if you are, you are, you are doing something for your own, your own enterprise, your own business, then the, whatever the fruits you will get, you will get uh, multiple um, financial name, everything for you. But if you fail, 
if you uh, if you get rejected by the market or if you fail then the whole responsibility comes to you because you are the initiator apart from that if you are behaving like an entrepreneur working from for somebody else means you are employed in that case if you get success if you get more positive sales or more positive uh, response from your customers for the company you are working for the bank your company we are working in that case the success will be for your bank the money will come more to your bank where you are employed the money will come to your owner your uh, who has invested who has employed you but you will be a decision maker in coming years you will be appreciated by your owner you will be appreciated by your boss because they don't want such kind of soldiers in their company who keep on waiting for orders or instructions they want that you should be a person with a lot of solutions with a lot of new ideas and you should be more innovative the way you are doing it so you want to become a dumb uh, employee of any company or you want to become a cheerful aggressive positive with kind of attitude where you can deliver more which is uh, more important so that that way i can say i think the second one where your aggression is there where your uh, your decision making is very fast where you 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 take initiative all such things if you have bundle of that you are an entrepreneurial employee for the company and if you are same decision same working you are doing for your own company you will be successful the money will come to you and you will get name fame money everything and the other part also you will get name fame and money also because if you work hard if you work like an entrepreneur definitely you will get more uh, increment in your salary and you will get more financial benefits from the company so both way it is required so this i wanted to clear uh, to you that this has to be major uh, prerequisite for success now i i i when i'm talking about success i can say that each and every one want success in their life nobody wants failure i don't know in this particular session anybody is sitting and to know that how to fail i think everybody want to know how to get success failures are there but we don't learn the methodology how to fail we learn the methodology how to success but if we are not doing anything properly if you are not doing or if the environment is not conducive if the environment is not supportive if the community is not supporting us in that case failures are there but you you should not stop attempts you should not stop uh, working because one failure gives you lot of learnings so everybody want success only the thing is how what are your efforts what are your uh, goals what are your plans all those things all join together gives you lot of chances to get success so success will come later first you have to be a planner or be a initiator then only you will get success if if you get success without any effort then i think uh, you are a gambler because a gambler purchases a lottery ticket or goes to casino and then spend some uh, purchase some ticket or something like that or some invest something some dollars and then uh, he or she uh, sits wait for some time and by chance uh, it comes 777 and you say okay i got this much of uh, dollars 10 times 20 times or 100 times so all those things uh, without working Uh, you are only uh, waiting for some chance or for some luck and if it comes in your favor definitely you will get 10 times money but it will happen uh, one is 200 or one is 2000 times 
So are you going to wait thousand times to get success? Or you want success immediately uh, once you do your work sincerely? I think you want success immediately, uh, relatively the kind of effort and work you are doing it. So let's see how, how you can say that I'm an entrepreneurial person. So you should have certain competencies within yourself. And I'll just share uh, some competencies. Maybe earlier also you must have uh, discussed uh, with other members also must have discussed. But I'll say that uh, how can you create value among yourself by entrepreneurship and innovation. So these two things I want to share with you. If you want to add value to your CV or you want to add value to your uh, profile, definitely these two things are very important in your life. One is entrepreneurship and second is innovation. Innovation is always not related to the product innovation. Innovation may be how you are making a presentation, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, how you are talking uh, to others, what is your the communication style, it can also be innovative. So don't think that innovation is always uh, a product innovation. Innovation may be any kind of uh, style, work, behavior or your uh, objective so that you can get the things uh, better way. The other way, uh, if you are more innovative, you will get less uh, monotony of your work. You will be always cheerful. You will be always happy and you will be always uh, different from others. So all those things, if you are innovative and entrepreneurial, definitely you will be happy person in your life. And definitely uh, the success, money, uh, partnerships, acceptance, all those things are, will follow you if you are having uh, these two uh, traits within yourself. So let's see uh, in detail what kind of qualities you should have. So a person who is uh, an entrepreneur is a kind of a person who, who initiates something or who takes the responsibility also. You can see these are the entrepreneurial employees or entrepreneurial person of any company or any, any, any place. Now they are taking the responsibility. That is why maybe others you cannot see because others are either sitting or not working or others are just uh, viewing what these people are doing. So if you are a doer, then definitely you will get a lot of responsibilities. And I think it, at the younger age, if you get more roles and responsibility, you will learn more and then you will grow fast in your life. So if you are entrepreneurial by behavior, definitely you will get more responsibility. So don't cry, don't feel sad that I am getting a lot of responsibility, but my colleague, she is working close to me or she just joined or he or she is senior to me, but they, he is not getting good uh, responsibilities or nobody is giving him or her job. The days are gone. People want to work with those who are the doers. So if you are getting more workload, you should be happy that you are accepted by the company. If people are coming close to you and asking so many things, you can say that, yes, I have some potential. You can understand if a shopkeeper is sitting in a shop and there are two ice cream shops close by one another. another. If one shopkeeper is getting 200 customers per day or 20 customers per hour or 50 customers per hour, and the other shopkeeper is getting one customer per hour. Who is successful? Who is successful? The one who is getting less customer, less crowd, or the one who is getting more crowd? According to my belief, 
the person who is getting more crowd the person who is getting more um, customers is more successful rather than a person who is sitting idle and not getting any uh, any kind of work to do then i think he or she should shut down the shop and uh, close his or her business similar way if you are not getting too much of work in that case also you should not think that you are a successful person you should think that how can i get more work to do this is a learning experience for you in a life so if we say uh, who is an entrepreneur i can say that someone who organizes a business venture and assumes the risk for it and this is very important because the person in you if you are uh, organizing any business venture if it is a ice cream shop ice cream factory bread factory or any other factory so you are organizing everything from raw mat material to finished good that is uh, you are doing on your uh, on your decision maybe you will be having lot of employees under you lot of labor working under you that is fine but who is the organizer you are the organizer and the second part is who assumes the risk for it risk is for success and risk is for failure if this success and failure you take the responsibility then you are an entrepreneur similar thing if you are doing for any company where you are working if you are organizing the office whether it is a mobile company where you are going to take job and mobile mobile uh, service provider and every day you have to sell 500 new connections then it's a uh, within the company this 500 uh, sales of uh, new network numbers or mobile connection numbers is a venture for you it's a business for you and you are taking the responsibility of success or failure of that business were under employees working under you then also i can say you are an entrepreneur so both way if you are running a factory or industry there also you have to follow these two things and if you are not running a factory then also if you are taking uh, these kind of two initiatives one is organizing a venture and assuming the risk for it i can say you are behaving like an entrepreneur the another definition says someone who assumes the financial risk of the initiation so financial risk is like who is investing if you are investing in the money means you are running your own business but if you are working for somebody then the company is investing on your initiation so you want to initiate something either you have to spend or you have to convince your uh, owner or your boss to uh, give you some funds manpower or some kind of resources so that you can take some uh, new work done but if you are assuming the risk for operation means how the things are going to be uh, work out who will go where who will go there who will go first who will go second who will go for online meetings who will go for offline meeting all those operations you are deciding then you are an entrepreneur and you are managing the business financial management raw material management and labor management manpower management uh, technology management if all management you are doing then also you are an entrepreneur but if you are sitting one side and you are telling i am the owner of this company but initiation somebody else is doing operation somebody other is doing management third person is doing then how can you say that i am an entrepreneur <coughs> sorry so in that case you have to do all these three to four things one is financial risk initiation operation and management of any business or any company or any office wherever you are working then i can say you are behaving like an entrepreneur so always entrepreneurs are uh, not driven 
to earn more and more money but money is one motive but by the end their need to make their dreams a reality that makes you a more successful entrepreneurial person if you you are you are going to make your dreams into a reality money will come to you don't run for money run for converting your dreams into a reality definitely once you do this uh, uh, successfully you will money will come to you so uh, that is why entrepreneurs are driven by their passion entrepreneurs are driven by their beliefs their thoughts and they don't wait or they don't see and they don't get disturbed by somebody says come on another fool has come to the market let them call you fool once two three five times once you make your dream into a reality they will start commenting positively to you so don't worry about what people says you should be having your own passion you should be having your own uh, dream your own plan your own working style and it should be acceptable uh, to your company or it, it should be acceptable to the government because you cannot do anything against the government in a business or in a company where you are working so there are certain laws so if it is lawfully you are doing it definitely nobody can stop you and you will be uh, a really uh, a person who can achieve is or her dreams into a reality so that is why i am saying don't drive towards money drive towards your dream and passion money will come back to you and if you want to give some superior performance in your life as an entrepreneur so you have to improve your uh, individual competence because if you have individual competence uh, uh, is good definitely you can get work done from your employees you can get work done from your juniors you will get work done from those you are those who are associated with me with you like your suppliers your distributors uh, your uh, uh, your uh, sales people other people those who are associated with your company where you are working for and if you have your own enterprise there also you might be having 10 employees 20 employees who are working under you so first of all your individual competency is very important because you may not get all the 10 employees equally competent like you you may get one uh, with uh, this kind of finger one is tall one is short so all these kind of thing uh, things you are going to manage and you have to boost their competence their capacity so that they can also uh, equally contribute to your job or to your company the second is the second requirement is for your superior performance uh, maybe your individual competencies are very good but these are not matching with the job's demand then you have to match your competencies with the job demands some job says that you have to work till longer hours some job says that you have to travel a lot some job says that you have to speak a lot you have to discuss a lot so your competencies should match with your job demand job doesn't mean here that you are working for somebody in some company job means if you are running your own factory in that factory if it is a iron rolling mill and you you cannot manage to stand in front of a hot uh, furnace or heating area then you your competencies are good but one competency can uh, refrain you going to close to the employees so all those thing whether it is physical or uh, your uh, competence or in related to your attitude your behavior your com communication all those things should be relevant to the job demand and the third is organizational environment what kind of uh, company 
uh, if you are working for somebody and the organizational environment asks you to have certain ethics, certain norms, third certain uh, practices and your competence or your uh, nature uh, disobey all such then also you cannot be a superior performer similarly if you are um, you are working for some um, your own industry you are the owner of your own industry in that case also if you are uh, not too much uh, happy with the kind of working environment maybe you might be having huge number of labor or illiterate they keep on uh, doing lot of um, protests they can they can uh, work less ask for more money their quality output is not good all those organizational environment you may face but if you have to run your industry then you have to showcase your superior performance how to cope up how to come up with such kind of organizational environment not by changing any unlawfully but how to cope up within the environment you cannot change the environment because there are 100 employees there are 200 employees you cannot sack all your labor one day then nobody will come to work in your factory nobody will come so if you want to have a uh, good uh, working environment adjusted along with your um, profile then you have to uh, make yourself amend yourself adapt yourself according to so this says that the better the balance among three more the occurrence of effective specific actions or behavior what it says you have to balance your competencies with the kind of job is demanding and what kind of organizational environment it is you have to balance you don't expect others will change if you keep on expecting others to change for the whole life you will be craving you will be crying that i i got birth on this earth this earth people are not good and they are not friendly to me they are cheaters they they don't work all those things you can say you cannot change whole universe you have to adapt you have to adjust yourself according to your competencies the requirements and the environment uh, where you are born where you are working where you are each and every geography each and every place has certain problems some places are the environment means i'm talking about weather environment is a problem some places the work environment is a problem some places the financial environment is a problem you cannot even earn too much if you have uh, uh, both the pockets full of us dollars somebody will come and snatch so that that so you don't want to show that i am a rich person there are certain environment also so all those things uh, you have to manage between all these three things. So what is a job competency? Basically, it is a body of knowledge, skill and attitude which gives you um, how can you use your knowledge for your uh, working, uh, how can you use your skill and how can you uh, execute your attitude in front of uh, others so this is very important for you and it gets reflected in the job if your attitude is not good definitely others will not come close to you and if the people stops coming close to you they will affect to your factory uh, your profits and it will affect to your work also if you're working for somebody your skills if your skills are not matching with uh, the job that way also uh, you are going to suffer if you don't have good writing skills and your job asks you have to write 10 pages per day in that case you have to change your uh, competence you have to improve your skill or get it done from anybody 
But end of the day, 10 pages should be done by you. Knowledge is you know because already you have just studied, you are passing out. And it is always related to your superior performance because if you can match this, the performance will be superior and it enables a person to perform the required job better than others. More easily, frequently and fast, you can apply your knowledge, skill and attitude in an appropriate manner. You will be better than other person. The more slow or re refusal to change, then you will be in trouble for year, for two year or for whole life. So it's better uh, bend than break, which is a very important process to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur don't uh, wait to bend. If their product is not accepted, they will change the product. If their packaging is not accepted, they will change the packaging. If their taste is not accepted, they will taste the change the flavor, they change the fragrance, they change the color. So if they keep on saying, no, I have developed this product, you want to eat, you don't want to eat, it's up to you. But I will keep on manufacturing this product. How many months or days he will be throwing his product in the uh, on the road or in the sea because nobody is the taker. So you cannot um, behave like this that no, whatever I am giving you, you have to uh, use it or you have to uh, adjust yourself. No, it is I, if I am an employee or I am an entrepreneur, I am a startup, then I have to change myself according to my customer, my clients, my juniors, my senior, then I think it will be a good job competency profile. So knowledge says that collection and retention of information and facts which are there in your textbooks. So you keep it, you retain it for now and whenever time will come, you are going to use it. So this may be uh, kept as somewhere as a repository in your uh, mind, in your brain, with you, uh, you are not going to use it every day. But someday, def def definitely you will use. Skills are abilities to master the system and sequence of behavior. It can be hard skill and soft skill both. Hard skills means uh, how good, how fast I can type, how fast I can Google, how fast I can uh, 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 close drive if I am I'm in a driver how better I can drive all those things are hard skills soft skills are basically my behavioral skills uh, how I am communicating I'm appeasing I'm people appreciate my presence or people like my presence these all are your soft skills so the skills um, set is you are a good driver Suppose I'm, I'm a driver and um, I'm working for some company and uh, I'm very good driver. But whenever I, my boss comes, I'll start cribbing, crying or loud music or something like that. Whether I will be in my company for another 10 days or 15 days, no. Either I'll have to change my skill or I'll have to quit the company. So I have to showcase my skills hard and soft skills both are important i'm very good in googling i'm very good in getting information i'm very good in typing but my soft skills are very poor i'm very loud i'm very lousy or i'm very difficult person to be uh, handled by others then people will say okay i'll find some better person but his or her skills are not matching to me. Similar things comes to uh, when you are owning a company or an enterprise and your employees are not happy with you. In that case also, they may start leaving the company because of your soft skills are poor or sometimes you are a software engineer company, you are owner of that, but you don't know about Python language, you don't know about Anaconda or you don't know about other language for data analytics or AI related some 
languages, then I think how long your employees will support you. So you have to have certain hard skills with you, then only you can lead your team or your company. The motives for what uh, you are doing all this. So your internal states should be very uh, dominating and resulting from need and activate your behavior. So your motives should always be the, towards success, towards supporting others, and your motive should be followed by your internal uh, mind state. So it should not reflect. I'm, right now, if I have a fight with my wife and I'll start taking class, definitely I, I will not, that kind of my internal state will reflect during my discussion. But uh, it should be every day I'm fighting with my wife, but every day, whenever I am in my office, I should uh, have certain barrier that whatever happened there and whatever is happening here, there should be a clear barrier. So your internal state should not dominate your work. Your internal state should not dominate your style because your motive should be not dominated by your internal states. Your motive should be dominated by your action towards your achievement. So that is very important and the traits are also very important that uh, your traits you have certain set of traits or character states ways in which you respond as a person and that is very important because each and every trait you need not every day or every time but some traits you can use every day some traits you can use rarely and some traits you can use once in a year in your uh, business or in your life. So you, but you should have bouquet of traits within you so that you can um, use them whenever you need. So let's see uh, what kind of uh, important things you need to be a successful um, person uh, in a business or in a um, job, you have to take action that go beyond job requirement or demand of the situation. You cannot wait for a long time to uh, provide or wait. Somebody will come and tell you that, hey, John, come on, let's do this. Or, uh, hello, Diana, do this. No, nobody will come and tell you that you do this or you do that. If you are lack like that person or you want to become like that person, it's better join army. In army, you should be loyal and but you, you have a loaded gun, but you cannot shoot a single pallet unless until you have instructions to do so. So that is very important uh, trait in real life, in your business or in your company where you are working, you, you should be doing things on your own before being asked for. Nobody will come and say. So you are an initiator or being forced to buy even. If somebody is forcing you that you do it and you have to do it like that, then I think you are a meager person in that company you are an employee or you are an entrepreneur, but people are telling you to do so. In that case, you should not be a successful person in your life. And the taking actions to expand the business into new areas, products or services, that is also a very challenging job in your life. If you have your business only in Malawi, you want to do in Zambia, you want to do somewhere in Nairobi area or other big business cities, definitely you have to have faced a lot of challenges, but new areas, new products, new services, all that you have to take a uh, decision or initiative. Nobody, your competitor or nobody will come to you and say, hello, John, let's start new business or let's start new product or this is the design of the new product I am giving to you to start doing this. Nobody will come. You have to start from scratch and you have to do each and everything on your own. So initiative is very important. You know this person 
can i have some answer i don't know whether this is interactive or not okay now you know this person uh is it interactive or uh, i cannot hear others i'm asking uh students can anybody talk about this person yeah i'm i'm asking question okay no problem so it's not so you know mike uh, he he started very humbly very small very uh, uh, a kind of a businessman who says that i was not doing anything and uh, he is now a malawian businessman and a billionaire in the country's local currency and he owns country wide car hire a vehicle renter and chauffeuring service operating in major cities airports and hotel across malawi and he has also recently ventured into the hospitality business like hotels and uh, tourism related uh, businesses and one of the uh, successful uh, business person and uh, who started with very small humble he, he is not a kind of a very rich person when he uh, got birth and uh, today he has uh, created assets for himself but for his family and his members also out of his so mike can be a, an example that to got birth the, at the place where he was not in a rich family born in a rich family but initiative made him something like today that uh, even in india i know this person is doing good business in malawi so somehow uh, don't wait that the right time will come you have to take initiative definitely people will join you and you can start from a one car hire and now today you are into a construction of hotels or any other businesses it can be added more i am not too much aware of i haven't met him but yes this kind of uh, person and this kind of story tells us that uh, if you have initiative definitely you can do uh, much better and much successful so that is why the executive chairman of linkedin uh, which is being uh, uh, published and he says that an entrepreneur is someone who jumps off a cliff and builds a plane on his way down that says that doesn't says that you jump for death no you should have all the uh, armors with you but you don't know that what kind of contingencies you will face what kind of wind waves or height is there in your business venture so you have to build a plane on your way down means you cannot crash yourself also so but if you keep on waiting that once i'll get a plane then only i will jump then that day will not come so initiative says you have to jump then only you start building a plane and on your way down and you will be a smooth landing or a successful landing but you won't get all the things in your life in your platter 
so you have to work for that the second uh, requirement to be a successful person is that seeing and acting on opportunity and you should look for good opportunity take action don't wait for that and seize that opportunity like this uh, big eagle is looking for a prey a small bird and if only by looking the bird will come into the mouth of this big eagle it's not possible for that eagle has to do some action and seize the opportunity so this this is the opportunity and action should be here so without action you cannot seize the opportunity so that is why every time you should see and act on opportunity for business development for your personal growth for your growth of your employees for growth of your labor who are associated with you you should uh, consider uh, good opportunities for them and groom them give them more opportunities so that they can develop and they can be asset for yourself and sometimes seizing unusual opportunities is also important to obtain and mobilize necessary resources suppose you don't have funds so how to get venture uh, capitalists you don't have funds so how to get funds from uh, map banks your banks are not ready to give uh, funds how to get funds from your relatives friends and all that so seizing unusual opportunity is also a kind of um, requirement otherwise you you may be uh, open a business but if you don't have funds if you don't have uh, other kind of resources how long you will be in a position to run the business so all those things are very important one is seeing the opportunity and second is acting on the opportunity one thing cannot solve your problem you have to have both the things with you like this is another opportunity in malawi when this itap uh, started this imosis and uh, it's a cashless transaction and it's a environment friendly and it's 100% renewable energy and it is very easy to use it's a kind of a you will get water so it's a basically intelligent monitoring system which helps you uh, getting your requirement in a better way so how you can mm, see the opportunity because water crisis is there now based on water crisis either you keep on crying you keep on blaming the government authorities or you give some solution to the community where you can also earn some money and community will also happy with you so it's up to you uh, so it's a smart water management uh, system for the government and water board which is developed created by team and now uh, they are happy that how they have used artificial intelligence and other technology tools for uh, providing this kind of solution so itap is one example which i wanted to share with you which relates with uh, seeing and acting on opportunity this is an indian entrepreneur girl mm, she also saw some opportunity and uh, she was working for a company and uh, a, a computer software engineer and she was working for a company and uh, once she visited taj mahal which is a very old ancient uh, beautiful uh, tomb in india and it's a one of the seven wonders of the world is taj mahal uh, but she wanted to carry back some kind of souvenir to gift to her friends but she could not even get even the key chains in front of the um, this uh, beautiful place then uh, in, some idea came into her mind that why people uh, are not doing all these kind of small small products 
so that when the tourists come, they should buy some kind of fridge magnets or keychains or mugs, coffee mugs or something like that. And then she um, thought about that. Initially, she uh, went back to her boss and she said that I want to do this kind of business. And he said, come on, you are a computer software engineer and you are going to do this color business or adding color, printing and all that. Do you know anything about that? So it's better you go back to your computer and start doing coding language or whatever you are doing to do that. So she went back at that time she had two year old daughter also. So uh, before that, so she waited for two, two more years. And after that, again, she went to the boss and she said, sir, bye bye. I, I cannot do this kind of because my uh, dream is to set up certain kind of a product business where all colorful products, which is being appreciated by the young generation so that I can be young for a whole life rather than I don't want to die in this office in, at the age of 58 years handling computers and in front of screen only and then she quit and today she has 120 retail stores in india and not a single store is too much owned by her and this brand is also in, in english the name of the brand is magnet so uh, the way the magnet catches uh, every uh, iron product this her magnet catches all youth young because her products are full of color vibrance and that is her uh, unique selling proposition she only works with colors good colors which give a lot of happiness and bright vibrance and that is the success that today she has one two zero stores it may increase more by the time i'm talking to you and you see the stores these are the store these are the open stores in the mall and there are all these kind of colors and she don't produce anything. She buy this raw t-shirt and thus she, she do this artwork color. This is a kind of a uh, school bag for children, for the girls going to college bags, mobile bag cover, uh, laptop cases, uh, mugs. She has more than 2000 products which uh, she and she keeps on changing the product line but each and every product you'll find that a lot of color is there and uh, another thing I, i'll give you 30 seconds of time you find out that which animal uh, is uh, there uh, in this picture which is more prominent uh, she promotes so i'm giving you 30 minutes to find out which animal I think you must have figured out this is an owl. This owl is here and you will see this owl is also there in this uh, mobile cover. So there is no story behind that why she has opted for owl. Uh, but once she is using this because nobody in globe using owl as a uh, product brand or main prompt then we have alligator um, in t-shirts uh, you find that alligator in lacoste t-shirts that is there sometimes rabbit is also there in playboy uh, product line but owl was not there that is why she opted and she is branding it in a very big way so all you see the products have vibrance colors so you you can initiate now there are more than 50 companies those who copied her product line but she's above all and her products are all together different. This is a mobile cover. This is a coffee mug. This is a zipper for your exercise and all that even in the office you can have. It can be a simple also, but it gives you, if the you, you purchase this, 
this gives you some kind of differentiation you people see okay come on this is uh, matthew's sipper or this is uh, anna's sipper so that way it gives you some kind of distinct uh, among the group so people want such kind of things which are all together different now this bag also you'll see the owl is there so uh, it has some different uniqueness it can be plain uh, blue color but she used it now this zipper is different than this zipper so, so the color line she changes some kind of toys keychains watch this watch is also having owl now this is taj mahal if you google you will find that it is the most beautiful uh, monument uh, in this globe and this is uh, she also made the uh, the refrigerator magnets or fridge magnets out of that so there that's what i want to say explain you that there is no need to be a uh, artist uh, or a kind of fine artist to start all this kind of business she was or she is a computer engineer or a computer software engineer and she is all together into different domain it is all how you seek the opportunity and your passion rest if you act on time you will get lot of business and you can hire people you give them idea and they will work for you and you can reject their work or accept once it is accepted you can launch the product so there is no need to worry about that i cannot start this business because i don't have technical qualification if you keep on waiting for such kind of thing i think others will start and others will run the business so that is why if opportunity doesn't knock build a door don't wait that opportunity will come to you and say come on start this business you have to create your own opportunity by building a door so all windows cannot open for you sometimes you have to create a window for your space or your work area this is also very important to um, be successful in your life you should be a persistent um, performer you should not uh, wait or come out of your um, working if you fail once or if you fail second time or third time so you keep on doing repeated action to achieve or to overcome the obstacles that get in the way of your goals so you may find lot of obstacles in your business no business is simple but your persistence approach will give you lot of uh, success and will give you a sense of achievement also so always take suitable actions in the face of a significant obstacle there are obstacles you find you fight with one to one obstacle and take suitable decision action to combat with that obstacle and at least you should ensure that you have put all your efforts to solve a problem or a barrier that is why every day you should keep on doing the same thing same thing and again and again and to overcome that problem if you leave the uh, hindrance or a, any block in between it will not solve on its own nobody will come to help you you have to take others help but you have to first put your hands in the mud then only others will also put their hands in mud but if you keep on standing outside and expect others will uh, get dirt or get muddy hands no this will not come in uh, give you a success in your business so if you are persistent definitely people will come and they will help you but if you are not persistent people will not support you like this app uh, this is uh, popular among youth so that uh, this is to you know, for having attending events tickets and all such kind of facilities and uh, uh, they give you all kind of support that uh, how to plan to attend an event what is the dress code 
what is the venue and in the uh, the past year also the app is improved a lot on their application more technical and content wise also and it, it shows all the events going around Malawi's major cities including Salima, Mangochi and Likoma Island and all that and it is uh, even shows the, the location of the event which helps you getting the direction who are the organizers and all of the authentic people so you if you're transferring the money also you are sure that uh, nobody will cheat you so i think uh, um, they 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 took some initiative and now others are also doing similar kind of apps but the the person who started first um, will get more mileage in their life uh, so they they tells you everything about that uh, where the event, what is the time, what is the ticket, the food, the, the dress code, everything is there. So it's an innovative idea, but yes, people are taking benefit out of that. So that is why the, initially they failed, but they are coming back because of their never give up attitude. And uh, if you want this cheese, then you have to... Uh, make yourself a persistent effort and if you if you uh, want to uh, save yourself or your life also then you have to um, take all protective measures then only your never give up approach will come so don't die uh, for working but play smartly in the field of business Certain kind of persistent example, the tree is getting good soil to grow, but some roots came this side where there is no soil, but still these roots are growing and you can see very closely till how long the roots have reached. I am pointing out this side, but if you, if you view, go down, deep down, you will see the roots have come up to this point. You can see the roots have come up to this side. Can you see? Come up to this side, come up to this side or this side. It means if you are persistent, you can get even resources where nobody think that uh, he or she can get that kind of manpower, that kind of resources, that kind of raw material, that kind of customers. So you have to be very persistent in your life, like this kind of persistence. So that don't worry that these all are the hindrance in your life, but you have to bloom, you have to flower, whatever the situation you are. You are in Malawi or you are in Tanzania or which country you are, you have to have faced this. This you cannot change, but you can bloom with your resources, your hard work, your persistence. And that is why uh, you know this person and he said, I failed over and over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. And this uh, successful sports person never got success and at one go and that is why he is telling these failures makes you a successful person so if you don't uh, face any failure in your life definitely chances for success are very low so some failures you should accept because that may be good for your learning but if you are not learning from your failure definitely you cannot get success so uh, uh, he failed once, two times, three times or four times in his life and that is why he got success because he learned too much from his failures. And many of life failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. So if you are doing something, if you are not persistent, you are not doing it every day, to come out of this situation, then whatever efforts, hours and years or money you have spent in your business, it will go in vain 
because you have not achieved to your target and you left it in between so don't leave anything in between either get it or crush it both way it should not be half the way so if it, if you want to kill it kill it properly but otherwise you get it so don't leave the uh, any job in between that is why you you see that this person is digging some trench to get the diamonds and he must have worked for 10 days 15 days 20 days and after 20 days uh, again he worked for more than one month and he reached here and after that he finished uh, his job after 20 days and he was not knowing that how close he was to get the diamonds so i think till uh, you get your success you should be persistently working otherwise you may not get and this whole effort got in vain because he created everything now anybody will else will come and he will hit once and he'll get all the diamonds so don't uh, leave any job in between finish what you have started so any business if you start do it whole heartedly any work you are doing do it whole heartedly and certain persistent uh, persons are there certain fruits are also persistent they are uh, they cannot speak they cannot do anything but one in a million chance this is a tomato that accidentally grew inside of the fence and uh, when it was a flower out of flower it became a fruit and you know that the this very timid fruit cannot break the iron bar but at least he decided that i will grow and uh, i will not kill myself and that is why today he has grown nobody can extract or can uh, pluck this but still he is showing his persistence that inside the fence also i can grow this is the difficult most situation for anybody to survive but still you are surviving in such kind of obstacles definitely people will follow you people will accept you and that is why today in malawi everybody is seeing this picture if this would have died like this tree or something bush or plant nobody would have uh, observed so you you are going to get such kind of uh, success or such kind of observant approach when you are persistent similarly when this was a small plant that time also uh, he did not stop to grow and now he has grown as a big tree and he is uh, not bothered about this uh, fence which is made up of iron and the tree is growing and tree has adapted itself that now the fence is also part of the tree so you should be so persistent you should not quit you should adapt and you should evolve yourself according to environment which i was talking earlier that this is the environment you are going to get or everybody is not lucky that he or she will get good environment to work if you are not if you are getting these kind of bars uh, iron bars in your life where you are going to start your business or you are going to work both the cases you will find these kind of iron bars so don't quit uh, because if you are a small tree and you start a small bush you will fight you will be broken but you grow yourself and then you will give good uh, dent to a big worthy strong person also the another important thing is information seeking approach so you should be knowing each and everything what is happening around you that will also help you and if you are informed definitely you will be liked by people because even in your college university if you only go to those boys and girls who are well informed who know everything about the syllabus course text e books everything so uh, if you are well informed definitely people will come to you and they will they want to talk to you they want to take help from you it is not that you are uh, you you should be a google on your own you should not be uh, 
having so much of information but yes you keep on updating yourself and that is why uh, you will be um, getting more better things and you will understand more and that is why it doesn't matter how many resources you have unless until you know what kind of uh, things are required to to cross this uh, wall you need hardly one of this ladder but this gentleman doesn't know how to use a ladder and he is using hundred of ladder but still he cannot cross the wall so your knowledge is very important and your resources might be there around you but you don't know how to use the resources that is why your ignorance and lack of information creates problem in your life so amazon ceo says that you have to be willing to be misunderstood if you are going to innovate yes it is correct whenever you are very innovative people laughs at you people will will misunderstood you they will not willing uh, with you but that is not to be accepted because a innovator is a person who works on his mind on his technology on his uh, strengths and those who are not knowing about the strengths and the information they may laugh at you or misunderstood you once you become as a amazon definitely people will follow you so don't worry if people misunderstood you you go and innovate your product line like very recently in malawi uh, during the lockdown also the basket extra um, worked very nicely and uh, long way uh, they covered even during the lockdowns and they they are talking about that you can order for your vegetables and groceries and be assured, assured that all the covid-19 precautions have been observed and uh, it's not too much huge investment uh, uh, for um, anybody because it's a only aggregator you you are procuring something from really from the farmers and it is from farm to table model but right now they are giving free delivery in one city they might be increasing and uh, it's a fresh vegetable assured vegetables and they are increasing their uh, customer base also and even uh, for the customer satisfaction or growth they arrange these kind of tours also for the customer that they, they show that from where they are procuring who are our source so this is a innovative way to get more customers to get more uh, business and if you you hide your business value chain definitely customers will not accept you but if you are very transparent in your business people will accept you and customers will like you that you are a uh, real thorough uh, transparent and honest business person so that is why they are writing everything what what will be there in extra basket which kind of uh, vegetables it's uh, onion ginger garlic cucumber radish all these kind of thing how much they will charge and everything it is mentioned nothing is hidden so all these uh, things are there and then the quality uh, of work should also be uh, very good then only you can be uh, a successful person in your life and that is why this when they started whatsapp uh, the ceo uh, is talking about that we only wanted to do one thing and do that really well and that is why since so many years whatsapp is only whatsapp there are so many apps came but uh, in india or in other countries also people prefer whatsapp in uh, southeast asian countries also people prefer whatsapp because it is easy and everybody is connected to that and that is why whatever product you are doing you should confine yourself and do that very well then only switch over to uh, other thing so don't leave anything in between 
and start making another app. So that is why this is more successful because they only wanted to do one thing and they are doing only one thing. And that is why the Microsoft CEO says your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. So that's why I was talking earlier also that you should learn from your failure. If your customer is unhappy, it means uh, there is some failure at your from, from your side. So you uh, you should learn from them, and then I think uh, the way that Microsoft Windows and all that they keep on updating, upgrading, and new version keep on coming. It is not uh, that every time customers are unhappy, but yes, customers start saying that now we need more speed. We need more uh, new versions. We need we need more um, applications within the Windows, and that is why you have to learn from uh, the customers, and you keep on changing yourself. And commitment is very important. Whatever you are doing, it do it with full responsibility. Uh, even if you are going to fail, no problem. Whatever responsibility you have done, it is required. And do some extraordinary efforts or making personal sacrifices to complete a job. Don't think that your job will be uh, during office hours only. Even in, when the entrepreneur or business person, there is no Sunday, there is no Saturday off. It's all, if it is Friday, then uh, even for the mass you are going or for the any other event, but you have to quickly finish all those things and your commitment should be done because you should be ready to work even at workers place also if your employee has not come and uh, you have to mop you have to clean because customers are coming then you be a owner you have to do all those things so don't think that you are a boss then you are not going to do anything commitment to work contract is very important efficiency should be very high Whatever time you are giving, 8 hours, 10 hours to complete the work, it should be done within 8 hours. Don't stretch a lot uh, to spend uh, unproductive work. You're, you're, you have very limited time in your life. Use it very sincerely. Then only you are an entrepreneurial person. And that is why <clears throat> initially uh, EcoRide also faced a lot of problems but uh, they overcome with this uh, problem and uh, still they are improving them and uh, i don't know how successful they will go but still in malawi uh, they are trying to uh, give impression that they are high tech they are technology savvy and they are doing some uh, thing uh, which is a requirement or a need so high efficiency is doing things right and effectiveness is doing the right things so you should be highly efficient also and you should be effective also sometimes you are very precise very good highly efficient but people don't like your efficiency because the effectiveness is uh, not there so it, your efficiency is only accepted when it is required by somebody. Um, that is why a pistol should be high efficiency that is required. But for bread or for a bun, for a cookie, what is efficiency? It should be more effectiveness, the taste, the flavor, the uh, this thing. So nowadays, the cookies are coming which are not properly all the five cookies of the same shape. It is a homemade and all that. But we love to buy those cookies because efficiency or the correctness is not there but effectiveness is very high so it all depends on product to product service to service where efficiency is required and where effectiveness is required you have to think about that also planning is very important because you all are students you plan you work so this is not too much which i am going to spend too much of time uh, you know this person I'm giving you some time to think about. If you know, it's fine. If you don't know, 
Thompson, the young entrepreneur, and he is a renewable energy expert in the solar energy expert, and he is the founder and managing director of Sky Energy Africa. This is the country's solar energy provider being recognized for his accomplishment in the technology category uh, on Forbes magazine uh, in Africa and uh, is a very humble, very uh, balanced young youth uh, among yourself only. And uh, even uh, at the time of receiving this award, after that also, he was so happy because he attended the uh, this uh, award ceremony and he is so happy that who was there. So if you are achiever, but you are admiring others, this is very good thing. If you got 100 out of 100 marks, that is what he has got and he is achiever, he is getting award, but he is telling that, okay, next to me, who was there, who is my boss or my uh, admirer or somebody, so that is what he says. It was also pleasing to share the stage with some of the prominent figures, including Tanzanian billionaire Muhammad Devji, who was the guest speaker at the glamorous event. So uh, he received the award, but still he pleased with uh, Muhammad, who is from Tanzania. So that is, uh, you keep that spirit high because uh, he wanted next time those who get the award should say that I'm uh, pleased to uh, share the stage with some of the prominent figures, including Thompson from Malawi, who are the guest speakers. So he wants to grow up to that level. So this is another way you can dream uh, a goal, which is a dream with a plan and a deadline. So if a goal is without dream, without a plan or a deadline, then it's only a nightmare. Because in the night, whenever we dreamt, uh, we dreamt about all big palaces, big buildings, big hotels. But if we don't plan or we don't have a deadline, then it's only a dream or your goal. And goals cannot turn into uh, your achievement unless until you, you dream for it, you plan for it, and you have a deadline for it. So this is also very important. And that is why, the vision without action is a daydream. You keep on daydreaming that I will be owner of a Mercedes, I will be owner of this car. But action without vision is a nightmare. If you keep on doing action without any vision, then you are uh, either killing others or you are killing yourself. So you should, uh, whatever you act, you act with a vision. If you are acting without a vision, then you are... Uh, creating problems for others also. Problem solving attitude is very important. You should be a problem solver, not a problem creator. And that is why uh, in every business, any activity you will find problems and you should be a problem solver. And you should always identify the root cause of the problem. And do not look where you fell, but where you slipped. If you understand this philosophy in your life, then in the future, you will uh, not get similar problem in your life because then you will know that here I slipped and this is the reason I fell down. So don't look where you fell, but always look where you slipped. So that slippy area, where, where is the fault? That fault, if you rectify it in future, you will not repeat that mistake in your business, in your enterprise. And take responsibility for what you do. Admit to your mistakes. Become a problem solver, not a problem maker. I discussed with you this also. You should be responsible for your success and failure because you are an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur always says, yes, this is my success. And then they should also have capacity to say, yes, this is my failure, I fail. It is not that success is mine and failure is of my team. No. So you should admit your uh, mistakes also. Self-confidence is very important. You express your confidence in your own ability. Then people will allow you to do the things. 
and that is why the too much of dogs and hounds are here but it's a very small cat in this uh, picture and she walked from here to here with confidence and because of this confidence nobody jumped on this uh, small cat so if you are confident definitely you have a lot of competitors in in your business you have a lot of competitors in your job your colleagues everybody will keep eye on you but if you have confidence nobody will hurt you because your confidence is having a strong belief in self and your own abilities you can explain them hey come on you cannot hit me because i have my own abilities and i have my own capabilities sometimes people have high capabilities but they feel like a timid this is the reason they cannot take any initiative they cannot take any action they cannot find the opportunity and the whole life they don't understand what are my capacities so you should be a self confidence and why this self confidence is important you should believe in oneself you should believe in your abilities and you should believe in your judgment whatever your judgment is if you believe in your judgment you can convince others if you believe in abilities you can do that and if you believe in oneself you can initiate that and all these three if you will not initiate if you will not act act and if you not convince then you cannot do anything on your own you have to rely on others so this is also very important for an entrepreneurial person his or her self confidence should be high and self confidence is only high if you know yourself if you don't know yourself your self confidence will always be low and don't give up whatever situation is now in the uh, this chess board game this is the worst situation because all whites are gone dead only one is there and all blacks are there this is a uh, virtual thought this is not possible in real but only to explain even if you have this kind of situation in life just stand there definitely you will get some help uh, otherwise there is you don't have any other solution also so don't give up just wait persuasion is also very important you you persuade others to convince others then only people uh, will agree with you they will provide you some resources they will give you some support so convincing is also very important like uh, try if somebody is bigger than you larger than you uh, rich, richer than you then also if you persuade this is a trick so that you can start licking the good candy if you persuade somebody if it is others property also but uh, you should uh, persuade and uh, use some kind of influence strategy uh, your vocal communication skills all these things are required to uh, influence others also assertiveness always be uh, whatever you say you say with confidence confront your problems and issues with others and telling others clearly what they have to do keep monitoring your projects that is another entrepreneurial uh, good trait and concern for others welfare and uh, 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 benefit that will also help you in uh, getting works done if you are not supporting your subordinates definitely they will not work for your company they will not work for your industry they you need to respond positively to employees specific needs if you can and support them definitely support them and have concern for the welfare of your employees and their families this is also very important so that is why um, if you are talking about innovations in that case uh, there is only one company which is google which is only known for a lot of innovations in their products lot of innovations in their services which they are doing it even uh, every day they change their masthead also whether it is 
uh, Valentine Day or it is Christmas or it is Independence Day of any country, they change it accordingly. So this is all innovation, innovative company. And it, it's a simple internet search engine, but uh, why people choose Google because it has a lot of options because this is not the only first search engine in, in this earth. Before that, other Internet Explorer was also there and other search engines are also available. But why we uh, do only Google search? Because it gives us a lot of opportunities to search in a better way and they have a lot of offerings also. And it's it got a rapid and phenomenal success only because of their innovations. If you keep uh, stop innovating people will stop using your product or your taste food whatever services it is there and now the google is a search engine it's a web portal it, it has interactive maps it's a discussion groups comparison shopping image library stock library anything you name you will find well in order on google so i'm not promoting google right now but I'm talking about the innovations which you can have. And this innovation is not only uh, developed in-house by the company, but it is also possible through acquisition and strategic alliances of small, small, small apps and small, small, small product and services, whether in Malawi or in Tanzania or in Zimbabwe, any country or in India or in Europe, any country, these small, small student uh, products they purchase, they customize it, and they are using it. So even Google Map may be developed by some some of the students, and now it is uh, it is named as Google Map, but it is somebody others uh, thing. So they are buying the good products and they are making their uh, basket a big basket. So it's known as an innovative company and constantly develops and introduce new services to the market. And Google established internal web page for tracking new ideas also. They promote their employees always to be innovative. And their corporate culture always say that if you, you are working on the same uh, project for more than six months to one year, either leave that project or complete that project. That, that is why they want to keep you always innovative. Otherwise, you will stop uh, thinking. Uh, it is more than 100 billion plus Google search monthly and it is giving business to more than 1.5 million businesses by Google search only. There are a lot of advertisement, content developers, other kind of businesses are also associated with even Google search. And uh, just recently it is more than supporting 109 languages. It can it must have increased more than within a month or so. But uh, recent last four or five years back also, it, it is a company uh, which has acquired more than 200 companies. And even YouTube is not being created. It is procured by uh, Google. And that is why today YouTube is the most uh, used tool for education purpose, for viewing, watching all good information, all kind of uh, videos. So that is why every 60 second, 300 plus hours of video will be uploaded to YouTube. People are uploading YouTube and people are saying Google is innovative. This is the fun. This is the good thing. I am uploading something, you are liking it. That is why you are saying, oh my God, YouTube is good. But it is my effort, but this is all YouTube. And then now it has started paying you back if your content is good viewed by many people so there are so many youtubers are also now in the market they are doing it and uh, google translate is also there and you see uh, google is fostering and enabling innovation if you get some uh, opportunity to visit google office definitely visit the google office they provide you more freedom to work uh, or play even you don't want to work, you play a video game on your mobile or you want don't want to work on table, you can sit down and work. You can work along with uh, your coffee table book to coffee table or you, you don't want to even play work. You can chat only, discuss, 
in fun, whatever it is. So there is no fixed space for you. You can change your space also. So this is why now they are having uh, meetings. So you choose your work environment where you want to sit. You want to sit in a so on a sofa or a, a cafe table, or you want to work in a enclosed uh, room, or you want to work sitting on uh, some odd place which nobody likes to sit for more than ten minutes. But okay, this is all you. So it's no such kind of uh, routine office setup. Even if you don't want to work, you can play. So global strategies, local implementation. It is uh, the environment should be according to you. You can play. You can have your uh, um, your uh, juices, fruits, whatever it is, coffee. You can uh, sit there, work according to your this thing. And that is why Google says that our benchmarks are enabling highest efficiency with ultimate creativity. How you will get efficiency and ultimate creativity? Unless until you <coughs> don't give freedom to your employees. Once you give freedom to your employees, they will also give good product back to you. So these are the nano pods uh, placed uh, where employees can work and sleep too. So this has a kind of a power attachment. It has a Wi-Fi support, so you can work while uh, lying like this. If you don't want to work, then you can close it and you can sleep also. So nano pods are where employees can work and sleep too. You can close it and nobody will come and ask you, hey man, why you are sleeping? Are you working in this office or no? So these all are metro naps. So you can take a nap for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then uh, you can start working afresh. And that is why these all are Google innovations. You have enough to eat and uh, one day, two day, three day, you will eat 10 times of your appetite. But after 10 days, you will stop eating all these things. So they give you enough freedom to eat fresh fruits, juices, Pringles, chips, sauce, ketchup, whatever you want to have. After five, seven, 10 days, you will start eating as per your appetite. So they give you freedom to enjoy. And that is why these all are the innovations you can lie down and then you can work you can work on your lap or whatever the way you want to do you can view the environment uh, these all are the personal uh, space to work like this I think then uh, food is enough so that you can enjoy your food once you have broccoli salad or some kind of fish as per your taste definitely you will work more and uh, even you sleep more also but after some time you will adjust with too much of food and then you will uh, enjoy it. and they keep on changing the menu also so these all are the google products which really fascinates you like we know that this is google chrome with the web search this is maps sorry this is chrome this you know Yes, this also you know, this, not much successful but still, yes, so all products are not successful, Play Store, this, Translate, this, Book, this, News, this also you know, yes. So this is an innovative company which is giving you all these kind of platform, calendar, docs, maps, movie, play music, YouTube and all that. And that is why if you want to be an entrepreneur, you should be a participant. You should play the game. You should not be an observer. If it is a soccer match or a football match, you should be out of those 22 or 23 or 24 or 20, those who are there, action. You should not be a fan in your life only for clapping others' success. And to be an entrepreneur, it is to be an optimist, to believe that 
with the right amount of time and money you can do anything so that is also very important in your life and that is why the owner of alibaba uh, jack ma he says that today is cruel his life is not easy today is cruel tomorrow is cruel two two days you will find life is cruel and the day after tomorrow life is beautiful so these two days everybody has to pass today and tomorrow after that your life will be beautiful so in any business any enterprise even he started very meager but today see how big his business and all those things he started with only 18 initial workers in 1999 and he could not uh, get good scores good marks and at one point couldn't get job at kfc also he went to uh, from being an english teacher earning dollar 15 per month and today one of the 25th five richest person in the world so that is why your creativity and your innovation needs to be high and that needs to be uh, used by you in your life so so i want to uh, open this for uh, questions from uh, anybody who wants to ask questions please dear participants uh, the now session open for the questions please shoot up your questions in the chat box our resource person ready to answer your questions so it's long for me to discuss so many things with them so they might be recollecting many things because it was Uh, long sessions for for them So will they write on uh, chat box? No, sir. We are not received any questions. Uh, still, we are waiting. Thank you very much Dr. Raman that was a really nice presentation honestly I never thought that one of the most just one person starting from not having a job want to being one of the richest people in the world that was really interesting cuz I've learned it from here too so I'm really hoping that people who joined this webinar today have understood what everything you have taught us and have taken into consideration everything you have taught us today for that we really appreciate your coming today thank, thank you. you very much thank you very much and thank you to your team your dedication the way you are uh, supporting the students and uh, i am always uh, there to support uh, the mi the team the university the students please uh, feel write me any time i will help you people and uh, from india uh, we are going to set up a bigger entrepreneurship development uh, institute uh, we are coming to malawi also then uh, gabon is there 
Djibouti is there. Then uh, Rwanda, we have already started. Zambia, we are coming. So with the help of Government of India, we are we are bringing a lot of entrepreneurship development institutes uh, in the neighborhood countries. Uh, so uh, this this is Malawi is also with uh, with us. So we are we are going to work with you people, and we'll take your support also. You are doing very good job. So we'll 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 do some thing for the students together. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have received the one question from one of the participants. So before of end up being our session, uh, just uh, I read the question. Please answer those questions. How to differentiate our product as an innovative in this competitive market? OK, so in this competitive market, uh, all the products we need or services also needs to be uh, innovative, then only you can uh, survive in the competitive market. So the innovative product uh, may be innovation in packaging. Innovation can be in uh, your size of the product. Innovation can be you increase or decrease the size in the packet size. It can be bulk. Then you are innovative in that way also that you are only supplying for hotels, something like that. Innovation may be the color. Innovation may be the way of delivery services. So we talked about the basket uh, team and all that. So this is only innovation. But in the competitive world, what you have to do, you keep on innovating yourself because once you are successful, then the others will also copy you. So that time you should have plan B so that your this product will keep on giving you now the 30% of total revenue because the rest 70% others people will take and uh, your new innovations will start giving you 100% more revenue. So innovation is very important in this competitive world. Thank you, sir. Uh, I hope the participants, you are received the answers uh, according to your expectations. Um, a really good presentation, sir. Uh, in this presentation, I understand uh, entrepreneurs is not a observer. It's a real participant. Thank you. It's most an excited presentation. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So am I, am I leave now? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Uh, thank you, participants, uh, for the, your patience of uh, uh, today's uh, legends. And we can see tomorrow at the same time. Thank you.